With a few modifications to stitch number 34, you can create a beautiful edging effect, and it's called a shell tuck edge. So I've selected stitch number 34 and the changes that I've made to the machine, first and foremost, I adjusted the stitch length to 2.0, so it's a fairly short stitch length, and I've made it much wider, 6.0 on my stitch width, and then I also increased the tension all the way to a six. Now when we stitch, we're taking a square of fabric and folding it in half because when you create the shell tuck edge, it's important that you're working on the bias edge of fabric. Now I'm going to line up my fabric under the presser foot so that the edge of my fabric is just to the right of the center marking in the foot. And now we'll stitch. You'll notice that as you stitch, you can see that the fabric is kind of being pulled to the left every time the needle moves to the left. Don't be alarmed by that. That's the look that we're going for. And the right needle is swinging just off the edge of the fabric. You want that needle to be landing off of the fabric. And then because the tension is pulled so tight, it's going to pull hard on the edge of the fabric and create the beautiful effect that you're about to see. So we're at the end here, we'll stop and cut the threads. And here is our beautiful shell tuck edge.